from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. My name is Father Pat Fitzpatrick. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from a family who are parishioners of St. Clement Parish in Etobicoke, Ontario. This Mass is offered for their granddaughter's birthday on December the 30th and in thanksgiving for blessings received. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of the televising of this Mass, to the faithful of Canada and around the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. may the risen Lord be with you. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, who dispersed the darkness of this world by the coming of your light, look, we pray, with serene countenance upon us, that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. My little children, now by this we may be sure that we know God, if we obey his commandments. Whoever says, I have come to know God, but does not be obey his commandments, is a liar. And in such a person, the truth does not exist. But whoever obeys his word, truly in this person, the love of God has reached perfection. By this we may be sure that we are in him. Whoever says, I abide in him, ought to walk just as he walked. Beloved, I am not writing you a new commandment, but an old commandment that you had, have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new commandment that is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Whoever says, I am in the light, while hating a brother or sister, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves a brother or sisters lives in the light, and in such a person there is no cause for stumbling. But whoever hates another believer is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and does not know the way to go, because the darkness has brought on blindness. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves and two young pigeons. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We uh, celebrate this TV Mass between Christmas and New Year's Day. Goodbye and thank you to the first. Hello to the second in three days' time. In the new year, Christ will be out to be a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory to the people of Israel. Today's readings from the Gospels of St. John and St. Luke assure us that if we obey their commandments, the love of God will say, I abide in them. And John goes on to say, whoever loves a brother or sister lives in the light. None of us need to be isolated in the dark. St. Luke takes, the back, takes us back to the time when our Blessed Lady and St. Joseph brought Jesus to Jerusalem to uh, present him to the temple. St. Luke tells us of the meeting there was with Simeon. The Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him previously that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord, the Messiah, Jesus himself. When the parents, uh, our Blessed Lady and St. Joseph, arrived with the child in the temple, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God. Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace. My eyes have seen your salvation, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people, 
in Israel. Mary and Joseph were amazed at what was being said about Jesus. Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, this child is destined for the f falling and the rising of many in Israel. Who will be a sign that will be opposed? And a sword will pierce your own soul too. In what we might call a strange whisper, Simeon is anticipating what lies several years ahead for Jesus, the cross above all. We make the sign of the cross. I wonder how reverently do we make it each day? Just some sort of hasty action or a ritual done with reverence and meaning. Food for thought in the month of December and into the new year. Please stand. For those in daily TV Mass community who have asked to be remembered in our prayer intentions book, especially those experiencing loneliness, that they may find the peace and hope of Christ during this season of Christmas, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our own particular intentions. Around Easter, the wishes we may have for other people, the wishes we have for our own families and friends, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may come from Christmas with us, helping us, seeing that we develop as he would wish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's take a moment to include our own special intentions. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant to us, O Lord, hearts renewed, recreate in us your own spirit, Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be God. God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that our offering of Eucharist today may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of the same, for our good and all of the church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assu assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by his wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy, we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat from it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
at the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. blood of Christ. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us join together in this prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you, God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go from this Mass in the peace 
of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.